Hello and welcome to Morris Park. <clears throat> Today, this morning, uh, New Year's Day, we have had an ice storm. As you can see, this poor cedar tree here is bent over pretty bad. It is very heavy with ice. I'm kind of worried that we might lose it. We had a very large one here uh, back in 2007. And we had a horrible ice storm then, and it crushed the tree all the way to the ground. A tree much like this, but very much older and larger. They get so heavy with ice, uh, they just can't support themselves. So far, this tree is still upright. It's stressing pretty bad. As you can see right here. And as a matter of fact, it's breaking. Yeah, it's broken. That's really kind of sad. I planted this tree to replace uh, the cedar tree we used to have here. <clears throat> and this is what's happened. It's broken pretty bad. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to cut the top out of this and save it or uh, have to cut it all the way down. I'm very disappointed in this. Hoped I wouldn't find something like this this morning. Basically the whole top is uh, broken out of the tree. As you can see here. Branches has become so heavy with ice. These uh, trees with smaller foliage in this uh, cord-like or coraliform uh, foliage just get so heavy. I mean, I can barely even budge this. This is really bad. You can see what it does to uh, a lot of these trees like that. See, it's even encased uh, our grasses here. The tops are all just full of ice. This tree here is a, a American elm. And it's kind of been a survivor. Um, we lost half of it back in the ice storm in 2007. These elm trees usually don't make it too well because uh, they have all these little branchlets. And the smaller branchlets that you have, the more they collect ice and uh, it tends to break these trees apart. I'm really hoping that uh, this doesn't get any worse today. From what I saw in the weather forecast earlier on my uh, phone here, it's supposed to get some more here starting in a couple of hours. And hopefully none of these trees uh, break our power lines up there. They have a little bit of a coating of ice on them right now, so they're kind of heavy. If we lose power, then it's going to be a fight uh, to save the greenhouse. This crabapple tree here uh, is covered pretty well in ice. Uh, it's been a survivor through uh, the last ice storm too. Didn't break it up much. It doesn't have quite the fine branches like elm trees and uh, of course like the uh, cedar trees like that have. And uh, so they don't get weighted down quite as bad. But the whole thing as you can see is just encased in ice. Some of the little crab apples still left on there. See that? These are some barberries here, uh, purple barberries, and they are really coated. You can just see how thick this ice is on everything. One of our redbud trees there. 
another one of the big cedars. This one seems to be doing pretty good. I'm really kind of sad about the one in the uh, center of the place, though. And here you go, folks. These are cactus survivors here. This will not kill these cactus. They go through this every so many years. It's just kind of amazing to see cacti encased in ice. Look at that. Everybody just looks very frozen. New Puncha Imbricatas, encased in ice. They'll survive. I've seen these go through uh, ice storms before and they uh, make it just fine. And of course, uh, this here is the uh, native Opuncha Hemofusa. And so they go through this all the time. And come springtime, these things will plump right up and you'll see the most beautiful flowers come out on them. It is quite amazing though to uh, see them all encased in ice like this. Pretty amazing. And they'll come out of it. I guarantee it. They'll come out of it. Tell that one's cold. It's purple. <laughs> Just shows what some cacti uh, can survive. And look, folks. Yeah, now it's snowing. We're getting snow on top of the ice now. But I'll tell you, I'd rather see this snow coming down than a lot of the rain. Because the rain is what's going to build up on top of all this ice uh, and make it bad. I'll take the snow. Snow doesn't quite stick in... Uh, weigh things down quite as much as uh, this, except for these cedar trees maybe. That, we may lose that if the snow gets too heavy. Yep, snowing now. And the cactus getting uh, covered up by the snow now. As I say, this won't hurt them though. Okay, uh, here in the greenhouse, Things are looking pretty good. Things are very dry in here. Um, I try not to uh, water too much of anything. Things are looking pretty good. As you can see, some of these I've let dry down pretty good. Um, this Euphorbia murii looks very shriveled, um, very wilted over. Um, it will come out of this uh, in the springtime when I go to water these. And I may give this a little water if uh, we have some sunshine or anything forecast. Just to give it a tiny boost. But this is what will help uh, get cactus and succulents through these uh, times like this. To keep them dry. As you notice, some of these are... Uh, Shriveled up pretty good. A little uh, ferro cactus there. But try to keep them all dry. Look at this little flower on that little mammillary gracilis. Still hanging in. As you can see, it's a little below 50 in here right now. So it's not too bad. We're getting a little cool. It's not supposed to warm up too much today, so uh, we probably won't uh, see much of a temperature range in here. Holding in, folks. As long as we don't lose power, then it's just kind of a fight, and I'll have to fire up the generator and everything, and I really don't want to have to do all that, because we'll have to run the uh, house and the uh, greenhouse both with the generator. And that can get very tiring uh, during these uh, storms like this. But everything's looking pretty good. New Year's Day, first day of the year.
Corby is all looking nice. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you. <laughs> See the icicles hanging off the uh, bars out there. Just show you uh, our park in the middle of an ice storm. And folks, hopefully today we won't have to uh, go to using a generator or anything and lose power. Wish me luck. This is Clyde Morris from Morris Park. Thanks for uh, joining me on this cold, cold day. Take care.